The next thing I'm going to do is start to set the mandibular anterior teeth and remember for those I'm going to set them roughly approximately um, at the same level. The lateral incisal edge is not uh, lower than the, the rest but again as you move toward the posterior toward the canine the cervical portion starts to angle a little bit towards um, the, the most posterior aspect of the denture. Removing the wax is very similar to the maxillary arch. Again, use a finger rest. Set one tooth at a time so you can use the rest of the arch, the wax occlusion rim, to tell you exactly what, where the position of that tooth should be. And again, make sure that your wax is nice and molten. If you don't soften the wax all the way through, you're going to get bubbles and air pockets it's going to look like white uh, dots in the wax. It doesn't look particularly good um, when you're doing the wax, trying and trying to show the patient what it's going to look like. My wax is not quite soft enough close to the other central incisor, so I'm going to soften that wax there. Taking a look at it from the front, you can see it's a little bit higher than the um, adjacent uh, lateral incisor, uh, or central incisor. And I want to take a look from, uh, from above as well, and take a look at the neck. It also looks like, in this case perhaps, the neck of the tooth is out a little bit more buckle. So I need to set that in a little bit tighter. Sometimes you may have to grind uh, the denture base. In this case, I've still got a little bit of wax left, so I'm going to soften it down below underneath where the neck of the tooth is and see if I can move that without having to do any grinding. And I'll turn that back right side up and again I'm going to be watching to try and make sure that I get those incisal edges so they're relatively straight up and down. I'll look from the occlusal surface to look at my angulation there. I'm going to put that back on my mandibular rim and just make sure if I'm getting my um, over jet correct. And that looks like maybe I'm starting to get a little bit too much. So what I'll do is I'll just tip that slightly forward um, to reduce that. And I'll move on to my lateral. Again, making my wax molten right up and next to the adjacent tooth there. Seating the lateral incisor in the molten wax, making sure the incisal edge is even. Looking from above, trying to make sure that I get the angulation of the teeth as they come around the corner so it's not flat, so that it complements the arch form that the patient has. Trying those back on my uh, articulator and taking a look at both the axial alignment and my overjet. And you can see things are a little bit askew there. I've got the tooth is at a bit of an angle, so I'm going to change that now. So again, I'm checking to make sure my overbite is even. Uh, if you get one uh, mesial or distal aspect that's not right, then you have to uh, use your uh, uh, wax spatula to adjust that. Taking a look from above and making sure that I'm following the arch form there. I'm probably going to take away a little bit more wax. Again, if you get too much wax behind the tooth, you're going to find that it's harder to move the tooth in the wax, and I can soften that wax up a little bit to make it easier to move. Okay. Take a look at the prominence of the necks. Some of these you may find maybe a little bit more prominent. See the ones that I've set here are a little more straight up and down uh, or a little bit more proclined. These necks are looking like they're growing into the arch. As we come around the arch you may see that these necks are starting to show uh, a little bit prominent there and I may change those later. The mandibular canine is the last anterior tooth I have to set. Take off the wax and we're going to set it like the other. We've got our wax all molten, place our canine, and again tilting back a little towards the cervical portion. We want to make sure it's about the same level 
as the rest of the incisors. This is probably inclined a little bit too far, so I'm going to use my instrument here, my number 7 wax spatula, to make sure the neck is going in a little bit as I'm pushing that down. I'm going to look from above and see that I'm out a little bit uh, wide for my circumference. I'm going to soften the wax around the tooth again. If I'm having difficulty getting it where I want, um, that's what I'll do. Watch that any wax here that's dripping doesn't drip underneath your record base and get in here um, on the intaglio surface of the denture. If it does, it's not going to seat back down properly on your cast. So again, softening up the wax and making sure that I get my canine right where I want it. Looking from above, neck should be a little bit more prominent. Looking from the side, should be able to see a little bit of that prominence there. Put that back on my articulator and make sure that we've got the proper arrangement, proper overjet, probably a little bit more there. I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like the canine is actually a little bit far, further forward than we, where we want. We'd like the tip of the canine sort of in between this embrasure and it's a little bit anterior to where that is. So I'm going to actually move the whole canine back just a little bit. So I've just uh, warmed that up and moved that back a little bit. You can see that I've got a better arrangement there than what I had before. Although you can see that I've got the, the uh, tip of the canine in a better relationship where I want now, you can see that the, the canine here, the maxillary canine is a little bit wide. I'm actually going to tilt the distal portion of that canine around a little bit um, so that I get a better uh, relationship with the posterior teeth as we, as we round that corner. To do that I need to soften the wax both on the uh, palatal surface and on the buccal surface and I'm just going to twist that so that the posterior surface of the canine is pointing a little bit closer along the line of the rim that I have in the mandibular arch that will give me a better relationship.